In what situations do you use Cruise Calls algorithm and how do you implement it? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite tips for its fast implementation. So if you're having trouble understanding when to use Cruise Calls algorithm and how to implement it, this video is for you. But hey, if we're just meeting, my name is Bianca Jordan and my passion is helping people understand complex data science topics in a simple way. And I'm super excited about today's training because Cruise Call's algorithm is seen as a very greedy algorithm, so much like Scrooge McDuck. So let's dive in. In order to be able to perform Cruise Call's algorithm, your graph needs to have the following properties. It has to be connected weighted and undirected. But let's dive into an example so you can see what I mean. So in order to be able to perform Cruise Call's algorithm, I'm gonna need to create a connected edge weighted graph. And we do that the following way. First, I'm gonna need to create the vertices. And we have the first vertex as A, then we have B, C, D, E, F, and G. So these are our vertices, but in order to be able to perform Cruise Call's algorithm, I'm going to need to connect them together. So I'm going to create a connection between A and D, A and B, A and C, B and G, B and E, B and F, E and F, C and E, D and C, B and E, and C and F. All right, so now we have a connected graph, but in order to be able to perform Cruise Call's algorithm, I'm gonna need to add edge weights to each of our edges in the graph. So let's start with A and D, and that's gonna have edge weight of one. A and B is going to be three. A and C, three again. B and G, 2, B and E, 7, G and E is going to be 8, E and F, 5, D and F, 3, D and C, 9, C and E is going to be 4, and C and F is going to be 4. Okay, now we have a connected, undirected, edge-weighted graph. And now we're actually able to perform Cruise Call's algorithm. What we need to do is look at the globally smallest edge weight in our graph and add that to our minimum spanning tree. And if we take a look at this graph, we can see that the globally smallest edge weight is the edge A and B, which has a weight of one. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna color that with blue so we can differentiate. So A and B is in our minimum spanning tree. And now we take a look at the next smallest edge in our graph. And we can see that B and G is actually the next smallest edge with a wedge weight of two. So I'm gonna add that to our minimum spanning tree. We have BG. Now we don't have any more edges with a weight one or two, so we're gonna move on and look how many edges we have with a weight three without creating any cycles. And what I mean by that is, for example, if we see uh, edge AC, which has a weight three, and then we look at DC and we want to connect these, this three edges would actually create a cycle and we're not allowed to do that in the Cruise Calls algorithm. But as we go through the algorithm, I'm gonna show you what you need to do and what to look at. Now we have, I can see three edges with edge three. So we have D, F, A, C, and A, B. Now you can pick any edge you want with the edge weight of three, as long as you do not create any cycles. So let's take a look and see which one do we want to add. Well, I want to add AB. 
AB has the edge of 3 and does not have any cycles just yet. So AB. All right, so now we can either choose DF or AC, but we need to make sure that we do not create any cycles. So let me just choose AC. So in order to visit E and F, we can again take a look at DF because it has an edge weight of 3, and this way we would visit F. Yes, so let's do DF with edge of 3. All right, so we do not have any cycles. And now we, all we need to do is connect this. And let's do CE. There we go, we have performed Kruskal's algorithm on an undirected edge-weighted graph. And we do not have any cycles in our graph. And actually, let's calculate what is the actual total edge weight that we managed to perform this Kruskal algorithm on this particular graph. So we have 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. plus 2, plus 4. And that is 16. So we managed to visit each one of these vertices with the smallest sum of 16 edge weight. So now having this algorithm in mind, you can see what practical situations would be best used for, like creating LAN networks and even landing cables and finding actually the shortest path and how you can land cables throughout the city. Why? Because this algorithm tells us how we can reach all the points and all the vertices we need in a network with the smallest cost. So when we say that Kruskal's algorithm is a greedy algorithm, we need to think of the fact that within a graph, we need to reach all of these vertices with the minimum cost possible. So when we think about landing cables for a telephone network, of course you need to reach all of the people in that network with the lowest cost on cable, right? So this is what we mean when we say that Kruskal's algorithm is a greedy algorithm because it shows us the lowest cost we can achieve reaching all the vertices in our network. So this was it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please let me know down in the comments which tutorial you would like to see next here on my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.